Sentry Mode is going to get a whole lot more useful. I'm very curious as to how they launched this feature without a built-in viewer to the car for so long, but yes, thanks to some early access photos we've seen, so no, this is not public yet, but it's in that early access team of Tesla software testers that get stuff before the rest of us and they have to keep it on the DL so we don't know exactly whose it is, but the photo on the screen is real and that means that at some point in the near future, a software update will apply to all Teslas capable of Sentry Mode that will finally allow you to view the clips the car collects from the car display itself. It feels like a no-brainer, but yeah, the way it currently works is that you have to plug in a flash drive, format it a specific way in order for Sentry Mode clips to be saved to that drive because however much storage is in the Tesla computer, it's not enough that they want to write them by themselves. They want you to provide the storage for the computer to write to, and when anybody or anything walks near the car and it records them, it saves them to that drive. Cool but there was no way to view them on the in-car display, which I felt like was a huge oversight, and the only way to view them was to unplug it from the car, plug it into a computer, and then look through the footage that Tesla recorded. So still, I mean, it's handy. It's better than what most cars offer, which is nothing. Pretty much no car on the market today offers anything like Sentry Mode, but this once again proves the power of software updates and how important that's going to be in the future of car development, to the point that now, from the Tesla code we're seeing, the description on the display showcases that you will have a menu option that you can go to and you'll even be able to see thumbnails of the video clips Sentry Mode records so that you can play them back and see what happened, make sure nothing really was damaging to your car and if it is, then yeah, you can go ahead, unplug it and put it on your phone or computer or however you wish to use this footage. But in the past, there were whole accessories made just so that people could view the Sentry Mode footage from their phone. So you would have to download an app and it would partner with this specifically made hard drive that plugs into the Tesla and then you could over Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connect to that accessory and view them from your phone, but yeah, that's a whole lot of work and I think the solution is obvious that being able to view them on the car itself would save you all that time because right now, when people get back in their car and Sentry Mode's been set off a lot, they just get an alert that's like, Sentry Mode recorded 30 events and you're just like, 30? Man, what could have happened in the last hour? So, you want to see what's going on, but you don't want to have to unplug the flash drive, go to the computer every single time to view the clips, but at this point, I don't think they're going to do a remote access to those Sentry Mode clips anytime soon. I know it's technically possible because Teslas are connected cars. They have access to Wi-Fi and cellular. So it feels like if that's the case, they should be able to let you have views or let you have the recordings that Sentry Mode picks up from your phone remotely. But Elon has said in the past that that can easily run up data bills. Some people were suggesting like actual live view support so that the Sentry Mode cameras on the Tesla would act like security home cameras at home that you you can just check in on as long as you have an internet connection from the Tesla app, but yeah, that would definitely run up the data bills Tesla is paying right now for each of their vehicles, which is why they probably wouldn't do that. In the future, it'd be cool if they let you view that stuff remotely if you were connected to Wi-Fi. I know that being able to view it from the car itself is probably the easiest solution, but for people who park outside and sentry mode gets set off and it's still connected to a home Wi-Fi network, then sure, go ahead and use the data to upload that and stuff. But either way, this is a really important feature for a lot of people because because Sentry Mode is awesome, but this was a severe limitation of Sentry Mode that was preventing tons of people from even using it or even looking at the video clips. So hats off to the Tesla software team. I think this is going to be a great addition. Way more people are going to use Sentry Mode now, especially given the fact that this says you'll be able to select files and delete them if, you know, Sentry Mode went off, but it didn't really collect anything useful and you want to prioritize space on the hard drive you're recording to. So just makes a whole lot of sense. Let me know what your thoughts of it are in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching today's video and I hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.